Whoa, what a drive. That was crazy. Many breakdowns, new motor from Texas to Florida, just made it to Bahia World Headquarters, the new sunglass company I'm involved in. Gonna stop by and see the folks. Pick up the Ponga, Bahia. I haven't seen these guys in forever. Oh man. Average 55 in that bus. Dude, we went 70. We went 70. 70. Yeah. The new motor. With twice the gas mileage. Hell yeah. Did you see the panga sitting out there? We need to go over there right now and check it out. Like a custom pair of shoes. It just fits well. Holy smokes, you guys. Welcome to another exciting episode of fishing with Jay. One of these episodes on fishing with Jay, we're actually gonna have some fishing. But it's not this one. I'm picking up the ponga. There's a couple different words to say that word, but the people in Latin America call it a ponga. People in South United States call it a panga. I think I'm just gonna stick with ponga because that's what the people call it in the lands that they're used. Gonna tow this thing across the United States. Without a doubt, they've changed my life. I've been on them around the world. A boat that can handle six inches of water or 10 foot seas. Just, just the coolest piece of fiberglass float. First there was the inside of the bus and then there was the motor. And now it's time to build this boat. Got a lot of stuff to do. It has no floor, no casting deck. There's nothing inside. I have no idea what I'm doing yet again. Gotta figure out this whole fiberglass thing. I do a little bit of grinding, a little bit of uh, fabbing and then some glassing. And once that goes down, this thing's gonna be ship shape. So the mission now, heading over to Solace. The boat builders, they make incredible crafts with top craftsmanship. They said that we could borrow a little spot in the shop and uh, maybe even a little bit of tutelage. Got a lot of stuff to figure out, a lot of stuff to learn. Ooh, oh, it fits nice. Oh, yes. Oh, I Ride see. Bus, man. So this is the Solus Boat Company. Okay. They're local, you know, New Smyrna Beach, Edgewater. They've agreed to let us use their facility to fix up the package. Sweet. Cool. Stephen Dart. Stephen, good to meet you, man. I'm Jay. Good to meet you. I'm Sarah. I'm Jay. Good to meet you. Appreciate this, man. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. Sarah, thank, thank you so you. much. You dream it, we can make it happen. Whatever, if it has to do with the boat, we do it. Yeah. We do up our own stuff, but also others. Whoa. This boat here is about a million three. Wow. So I'm about a million three short on getting one of those. So this has got uh, three Yamaha 425s, and this runs about 68 miles an hour. No. I'm pretty positive that's the coolest boat I've ever seen. This will run um, 73, 70 something miles an hour. No, that's still a million bucks. That one is about 750,000. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna take a boat out one of these days. Well, maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe this, that one. Ooh. Kind of hoping you'd be a little bit more impressed with this one, but I kind of see what's going on around here now. Oh, I'm totally impressed. With it. <laughs> My a, son would love this boat. So, how do you plan on getting the job done? Well, I was gonna grind all the grind out where it was gonna go, and okay. then make templates, tab it, glass the bottom. I don't know, I was also just thinking about putting blocks. I'm basically like a five-year-old when it comes to boat ideas. Well, I don't know what the, the right move is on any of this. Okay, that's so it, we'll, we'll guide you through this. I think the best thing is before you do any grinding, we'll get in here and we'll make some templates. Once we get the layout done, we'll look at it, we'll know where to put it. I'm, uh, so my dad's always sorry. said, let your imagination soar to the heavens and then engineer it back on Earth. I like that. We'll do that. Oh, I like that a whole bunch. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an honor for one, but then, uh, and it's also, you're, you're making it so it's possible. It'll be fun. Mind blowing. I don't even know what just happened there. I feel like I just robbed the place, getting more help than I should ever deserve. These guys are extremely rad and know exactly what they're doing, which is the opposite of me. So uh, we're in a good spot. 
hopefully going to make some progress starting tomorrow.